Hey guys, I am Lana. This is from Corporate Crystals. We're back for another video. Today is August 24th and we are going to do a vibe check, energy update, new moon in Virgo combo. I hope you guys are doing really well. I was MIA last week because I've had like back to back illness related things. I'm fine, but my body was like, sit down. I was like, all right, I guess this is what we're doing. So I had, um, I thought I had pink eye, which is really unfortunate. It's also really contagious. So I had to quarantine as if I had pink eye. Good thing I did not have pink eye. Um, and then right after that, I think it was like four days, five days after that, I thought I got COVID. So I had to quarantine again. And so it's just kind of gotten to this point where, you know, I'm obviously needing to focus on my health and I obviously am supposed to be alone, you know, which is <laughs> fine, I guess. So if you guys are feeling similarly, I'm with you. Um, I wanted to bring this up though, because these are energetic reflections of the energy going on right now or manifestations of the energy going on. So let's talk through it. Two days ago on August 22nd, we entered the sign of Virgo. Virgo has to do with health, medical, da 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 da, right? So how fitting that I was having health related matters as we were entering Virgo season to draw me into myself to heal, which Virgo is a very healing uh, service related sign. So I find it to be perfectly fitting for my world. So I wanted to talk to you guys about it and see how you guys are all doing and feeling. Um, so let's talk to, to start about the Virgo new moon that is upcoming. It is on, depending where you're at, August 27th and August 28th. It's a new moon and new moons are planting seeds for new beginnings. Um, so if you've done gardening, farming, things of that sort, you know, you plant seeds and then you get the results, the harvest, you reap the rewards down the road, right? And that's kind of what a new moon um, energy is doing. It's to bring you to awareness of things that you need to do in order to plant the seeds for your long-term goals. So this one's an interesting one because Virgo is an earth sign very focused on details, organization, um, like kind of like that perfectionist OCD energy, uh, which I love because I have Virgo in my chart in some places and it, it makes it to where like I'm on it in those areas of my life. You know what I mean? Very, very process driven. Um, yeah, love it. The problem is if you're not used to this energy or if you don't know how to manage this energy well, you can get stuck into perfectionism and kind of like judgment of yourself or others. So depending where this energy is gonna show up for you, maybe rather than myself where it's showing up in health matters, maybe it's showing up at work and you're needing to kind of set additional boundaries because it's impacting your health. Or maybe your work, you need to make a job change, but it, that fear or the situation is bringing up health issues in you um, that you are needing to work through, right? Maybe the issues are more focused on spiritual hygiene, cutting off people that are lower vibrational because it will better your health. Maybe it is relationships setting boundaries, um, ending them, beginning be beginning them with like kind of the right intention behind it to make sure that you can manage yourself and um, maintain your own inner balance and stay grounded to your long-term goals no matter what is kind of happening in your physical reality right now. I think that'd be a good way to kind of put it. Now, in addition to the new moon in Virgo um, on the 27th, 28th, we also have Mars that just entered Gemini. 
What does this mean? Gemini is another Mercury ruled sign. So Virgo is ruled by Mercury and so is Gemini. Um, Mars is the planet of action. It's a planet of what drives us forward to take action, essentially. So it's going to be in Gemini for a long time, Mars is. And so what this means for us is we're headed into for this next chunk of time, a lot of mercurial energy, which will have us in our head. We're going to have to work extra hard to make sure we're balancing our head and our heart to navigate situations moving forward, to make sure you're not too, too stuck in your head. Um, make sure you are connecting to your emotions in a constructive way, making sure you're not staying stuck in your head, working through all the details, perfectionist, need all the organization, processing through everything nonstop, and then you drain out all your energy because you are in ego, not surrendered, and not able to just like be, right? This energy is really, really prominent for that. I just went through my own version of that where I just am like, I was so frustrated at my body. I was like, why are you never sick? Like, what is the issue? You know, and I was kind of beating myself up about it because I now know it's to protect my energy. I'm basically being guided to like, stay here. <laughs> like I've got a lot that is about to like come through for me. And because of that, I need to be really like in my own energy. Um, but the way that that had to happen because I wouldn't do it on my own is I, I got sick multiple times and had to quarantine multiple times, right? That can be frustrating, but at the same time, can you take that situation and make the best of it? So what did I do? I decided to complain and throw a tantrum for a little bit. And then I finally was like, okay, well, obviously it's not going away. So let's clean our house. You know, I didn't have the energy to like, you know, work out or really do anything too intense like that. But I definitely had energy to clean up around my house. And I did some of the like detail oriented cleaning stuff like cleaning my baseboards or, you know, scrubbing the grout in my bathroom. So like weird things like that. And then all of a sudden I was like, wow, that's so Virgo. Detail oriented, hygiene, cleaning, um, meticulous, all of that is super, super Virgo. Um, and to do that because I was kind of like quarantined from an illness was also just like so on brand. So I wanted to share all of that, but again, how it will, will look for you will be very different. So don't get caught in your head. Make a, a consistent practice of reconnecting to your emotions. You may feel disconnected from your emotions or your heart the same way we just were because we were in Leo season, which is all about your heart and passion and like what you love and fun and da da da. This is going to feel more serious. This is going to feel more like let's get crap done. This is going to feel kind of like this pressure and this um, like nervous, restless energy, because it's almost like you know how much you need to get done in order to accomplish your big goal or goals. Um, and this new moon is kind of like you setting intentions and taking action in a grounded earthly way, Virgo, to get towards those goals. Um, it's kind of like the, the kick in the butt that we're all giving ourselves energetically to like actually put in the work towards those long-term goals if we have not already. So maybe your goals have to do with fitness and exercise. If that's true, this is the perfect, like, let's call it next 30 days plus for you to start an exercise regimen. I'm going to hop on some of that with you too. <laughs> um, maybe you need to drink more water. I'm going to hop on that one too. Maybe you need to focus on your spiritual health. So more meditation, more grounding in nature. Um, that would be awesome right now because of Virgo energy. Whatever it is for you, if it's showing up at work, um, if it's showing up in relationships, if it's showing up wherever, you're likely feeling the shift you need to make and then you will get more detail oriented about the process to help you get there. That all is happening right now. Just don't let it get 
into the like perfectionism and judgmental um, kind of spiral that we can totally get into. I had somebody said this and I'm, I forget who it was or I'd give them credit, but this is so the energy of like, you start wiping your counter top of your kitchen and then you start looking at all the other areas that have like dust or dirt or something. And the next thing you know, you're cleaning your entire house. <laughs> like that's kind of what happened with me a little bit. I was like, oh, I have the energy to do this. Like I'm home, let's freaking do it. So this energy. Um, so if you're feeling that in any sort of capacity, it just kind of is like the problem or the task you start that all of a sudden it's this huge task. It feels that way, which can make you nervous. Break it down, bite, bite sized pieces and just keep it moving. You have um, support to start things and finish them right now, as long as you intend to and like commit to them. So hope that helps for you. So in regards to intentions, what I would recommend you guys do, whatever it is, let's just use the like exercise as an example. Let's say you're for the next 30 days, your goal or your focus is going to be like your physical health and exercise and all that. Well, then um, what you're going to want to do is set an intention around that. Make sure it's a positive intention. Make sure um, you write it down, you say it out loud, your voice is a vibration. So when we're talking about um, vibrations, having a high vibration, you want a positive vibration that you, in your intentions that you can say out loud to kind of like affirm what you want, affirm what your intentions are and have that vibration go out to the universe, right? Um, so kind of focusing there would be a really positive way of using this energy and to set intentions in like a constructive way. If the energy is bugging you, um, grounding your energy out in nature or just physically getting into your body to get out of the, the heady, like mercurial energy is going to be really valuable. So working out, getting in nature, you know, anything grounding related is going to be valuable right now. Um, let's see if I have any other notes over here. Beep, bop, boop, boop. I feel like that's it, y'all. Um, this energy, it doesn't feel super uncomfortable for me, but if you are a mutable sign, meaning you are, oh man, I should know this, the four of them, Gemini, hold up, there we go. Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Pisces. It's always, and I have all four of those. I don't know how I can. Um, if you are a Gemini, a Virgo, a Sagittarius, or a Pisces, or have that strong in your chart, or have placements that are going to be impacted by this, you're going to feel this energy a lot. So there's your heads up. Um, this energy is to help us get moving towards our goals. And it's going to have us pretty like focused on ourselves to get there. And that's totally okay. Have patience with yourself, have patience with others and just let things kind of unfold, break it up into bite-sized pieces and stay grounded as you navigate forward on it. Um, yeah, that's what I am being forced to do. That is what you guys probably are working on in your own ways out there. And so I just wanted to make sure to give you guys kind of like an update on all of that. Like, share, subscribe. I am so grateful that you guys are here and I hope you are doing fabulous out there. This would be a really good time if you guys need sessions, um, like one-on-one -on -one spiritual sessions to kind of have those details that you're having a hard time like clicking together to have... Um, them mirrored to you through a spiritual coach. So if you want sessions, email me. My email will be in the description box. Um, this would be a perfect time for that because as you're working through processing things, you're probably gonna get stuck up here. And so if you need um, to kind of get out of that place and you're having some difficulty, just know I'm here for you. Yeah, uh, I think that's what I got for this one. I'm gonna do a couple more videos, but I will see you guys on the next one. Okay, bye!